Hello everyone, in this video, let us use a script runner to connect to a database. So in this video, let us uh, learn how can we use a script runner to connect to Jira's own database where Jira is currently configured and uh, we will simply write uh, scripts to fetch something from uh, the database. So if you look at this script, this script has a few things that are probably new. We first need to uh, use some state statements like we need to define a, a variable. In this case, uh, this is a delegator variable and uh, we are using a delegator interface and using the component accessor, we are basically trying to establish a connection to the database. So for this particular video, we will simply retrieve some values from uh, a table. Let us say a project table. Now in Jira, we of course have a table where the project information is stored like the project name and uh, uh, the project lead and the project key. And this can be useful maybe for uh, auditing purpose and maybe you want uh, to do something with the database, although it is not recommended if you are working with Jira and you're using a, a database, which is of course the case, you should not uh, touch or modify, at least do not modify the uh, database which is currently being used. And whenever you're working with the database, if you have to do some updates, make sure your Jira is not running. You shut down your Jira instance and let us say if you're doing some fix uh, or maybe some workaround, you do it on the database while Jira is not running. But again, it is not recommended and uh, uh, in some cases you, you still need to work directly with the database. So in this video, I want to share how we can use the script runner. And for this video, as I mentioned before, we'll simply retrieve the information, we'll not update anything. For working with the database, you first need to have a connection which we already have in place using the uh, delegator interface and uh, we need a query, we need a simple SQL statement. Now, right now I'm using uh, a simple select statement where I'm uh, uh, using a statement like uh, select p name from project. Now, uh, this statement will uh, retrieve the list of uh, project names. And uh, you can see here that I am uh, using this uh, SQL statement, which is enclosed in uh, triple quotes in Groovy when you have multiple lines, you can actually use a triple quotes as well. So you can have string in uh, single quotes, double quotes or uh, triple quotes. Uh, you would use triple quotes whenever your uh, string is uh, spanning across multiple lines. And when you're working with a SQL statement, you may want to have uh, multiple lines so that it looks nice. When you're working with, uh, let us say, a select statement, uh, you need to do it row by row. Uh, and there is uh, this uh, method called uh, each row. Now, if you look at this uh, piece of code, I'm using a try and a finally block. Then you need to make sure that even if the code above fails, the finally block will still execute. Now, when you're working with the database, let us say you're doing some insertions or maybe some connection problem, you need to make sure that even if something goes wrong, you still close the connection. Otherwise, your uh, uh, your database resource will be busy and uh, maybe further changes or maybe the connection might not work when you're doing the same thing again. So make sure that you close the database connection. And uh, that is why when you're working with the database uh, using script runner or maybe using Groovy, you use try and finally uh, block. And uh, if you focus on the try block here, we are first using uh, a simple string buffer and this can be any string variable, but uh, we are using this uh, string buffer where we will basically create a string that will contain the information that we want to display or maybe we want to use later. In this case, we are simply running this SQL statement, which is uh, retrieving the project name and we want to display it nicely, maybe on the console or maybe in the log. I prefer the log because you have nice uh, uh, chronology of uh, different uh, things that you are uh, outputting or you, you want to print on uh, your log tab here. So I prefer the log, but you can simply uh, build this uh, string uh, in this case, uh, this SB variable, and you can just uh, display it later on. So 
this is all fine and we are using this method called each row and when you run this method you need to basically figure out uh, what you want to do with the things that you are retrieving from uh, running this uh, sql query now i will use something like uh, it dot get at so there is a method called uh, get at i'll use the code editor for auto completion and uh, and we should be able to use the uh, suggestions and uh, uh, when you are using this uh, get at method you need to simply pass in the actual column that you are retrieving in the statement which is in this case uh, p name and uh, this piece of code will uh, basically retrieve the uh, value or the project name but we also want to append it to the string variable which is in this case uh, sb now you can use something like sp dot uh, append and uh, you can simply pass this uh, it dot get at p name as a parameter under this uh, method called uh, append and this is now done and we have this uh, sb variable which is now which is now going to display the uh, project names now if we run this piece of code let us see what uh, we retrieve and we have uh, something in the log and if i take a look here i can actually see uh, the uh, project names and uh, this is fine but i want to do it nicely so what i can also do uh, after every row i may want to insert uh, an extra line so something like this and uh, this is a new line uh, slash n and uh, I will run this again and uh, let us see if we have the project names displayed nicely. So you can see here now that the project names are displayed uh, in a different line which looks good we, starting from uh, help desk team, legal, hardware support and so on. Now this is good but we, we may want to display, we may want to retrieve more information for example what if you want to display the project uh, lead or maybe the project key because name uh, is fine but maybe we want we want to have the project keys as well along with the lead so if you're not sure about the uh, table or the jira database schema you can do a quick google search you can type on google jira database schema and you will get some results the first link will take you to the uh, page where you can find the uh, database schema of jira now if i click on this uh, jira 7.9.2 schema.pdf i can actually take a look at uh, the complete schema which looks quite huge but uh, what we need to do we need to i'll probably zoom in and we need to find out the project table so i'll if you look at the if you look at the schema here all the tables are prefixed with the jira db dot so i can uh, do a control f or command f on uh, mac and if i type in jira db dot project i can see here that we have a table called uh, jira db dot project and we have a p name which is nothing but the project name but we also have some additional information like uh, url lead description p key and uh, we also have some other things like project type let us let us do something with these uh, columns so i'll probably modify my sql statement i'll add something like key along with lead and uh, there is also a project type so when you modify the sql statement we also need to make sure that we handle the code or we basically handle these columns in a, in a different way when you are when you are trying to build your uh, string uh, your your string buffer so i will probably do something like this here i'll uh, first make sure that whenever i'm displaying this uh, on my log or my log tab i have my project name delimited by a comma and then i have my second column and third column so i'll simply add the second column which is uh, key then i'll again uh, delimit it by again a comma along with uh, my third column which is uh, lead and uh, 
finally the project type. So hopefully this uh, will uh, help us in uh, displaying the, the information coming from project in a nice way. And uh, we have this uh, ready. And uh, if we run this piece of code, let us see if we are able to retrieve these columns. So we have some error, which is fine. It can happen. So it says you have an error in your SQL syntax. And uh, there is some uh, error with the key lead project type from blah, blah, blah. Let us take a look at the, uh, uh, the, the statement here. So we just need to make sure that uh, the column names are correct. And uh, these the statement, the column names should basically uh, exist. So the, the error I, th I think is the key. Uh, it is not just key, it is a P key, which is fine. I will modify the code and uh, let me run this again. Let us see if it works or not. So there is no error, which is good. And if I take a look at the log, I can see here that I'm able to retrieve my project name, my project key, the project lead, and uh, the type of uh, project, which is quite good. And uh, I may want to also um, add some column maybe if needed so that it looks good. So you can copy this uh, this output and you can probably paste it in uh, maybe Excel or CSV. But this is something that I wanted to discuss in this video, how we can uh, interact with the database. And in this particular case, we are just uh, doing select we are retrieving the information from uh, the database, but we can also insert something. We can actually do uh, quite a damage to the database, which I will not recommend. But uh, in case you're working on, let us say, a test environment or a staging environment, and you want to do some reporting, or maybe you are trying to retrieve something from the database because uh, you can't do it from the front end, or you can't use the REST API, then of course you can try and take a look at the database schema, provided you know how to handle it. So this is all I wanted to discuss in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll also give you the code that I used in this particular video so you can also play with it. Thank you very much.